Hello, this is a quick review of the brand new Internet Explorer 8. Um, it was just released today, um, the 19th of March 2009. And I'll be doing a quick comparison to Mozilla Firefox 3. So, have here uh, open up Google. So, as you can see, it pretty much looks like the previous version of Internet Explorer. Just slightly different around here. Now, well, I'll show you the speed. It, um, it is basically like pre the rendering in, in the engine is basically the same. So you may uh, think of it as being slow, and in comparison to other browsers, it is actually quite slow. So I'll just uh, show you um, a website such as Amazon.com. Bring it up. Uh, brings it up in a couple of seconds and that's it done. Now we've got Mozilla Firefox up here, so uh, we'll just bring it up here. Amazon. And as you can see the the, the speed there was quite compatible, so that just gives you a general idea. We'll bring up some other sites as well. Um, I'll try bringing up Opera dot com. Brings up quite quite quick here. As you can see, it, the pay, it varies from website to website, it brought up faster than our Explorer. But now we'll um, bring it up in websites that are quite heavy on other elements rather than HTML. So I'll bring up a website example, uh, Meta Cafe, which has uh, flash videos. Just click on a random video. Have, I have no idea what this is and it looks really stupid, but we'll just click on it anyway. For the first time on Disney DVD, if you're looking for some fun... I'm just going to pause that. It, 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 it loads it quite quickly, so... We'll go to Meta Cafe here. Meta. Brings up quick click again. Uh, that looks better than that stupid video up there. Yeah, it's basically the same. But as so you can... a dog walks into a bar, the bartender says, Hey, be careful! Anyway, uh one thing you might miss though is advert is like in from Firefox you get the Adblock Plus extension which basically because of its name blocks adverts on the internet. So as you can see here from this page, same. We've got an O2 advert here, but as you can see around here there's no adverts. This is good and that's one of the main reasons I use Firefox. But you can look at add-ons, so we'll look at some add-ons here. Uh, Wikipedia visual search. Not on gallery here. So well, at least they're making an effort, and that should be good for the businesses that use Internet Explorer that are well, integrated with ActiveX. Um, this is it's really comparable to Internet Explorer Seven, but basically it's a little faster and it's more stable. But I'll show you the new tool. Um, in private browsing brings up a new window you see it in private here a little bit about it in private here so we'll go to a website um, let's say we'll go to rotten, Google or Rotten Tomatoes so Right, quickly, stop that. We'll go to, uh, we'll bring, we'll go to tools, Stealther, which is basically in private, but it's an add-on for Firefox. We'll bring it up, uh, but a feature I really like is um, bootmark, bootmarks integrated into the awesome bar as it's known in Firefox. So just to, well, I've set it for G. I'll just um, take my search term, rotten tomatoes comes straight up and it's the speed is quite close on certain web pages and as you can see um, we'll close this window, it's in private window and we type here uh, rotten doesn't come up at all I go to we'll, we'll 
Alt to steal for. Close this tab. Oh, rotten. And there's no search history, so it's they're very comparable browsers. So it's basically if you prefer Firefox or Internet Explorer, that's basically a case of so I'd recommend both of you both of them. But if I had to choose one, I'd choose Firefox over this. Thank you.